Hey everybody, what's up? I wanted to talk to you today about this term, soft eyes. I'm going to attribute this to the Native Americans. When they would go on hunts, you had to have soft eyes, which meant you couldn't have prejudgments, preconceptions, or something dangerous could happen that you're not aware of and you're not ready for, or you can completely miss the hunt because you're so narrowed and focused on something that you're missing the possibilities of what could happen. And the hunt was important for the Native Americans, so you had to have soft eyes. Jesus also had soft eyes. He looked at people, he looked at situations and opportunities with soft eyes. He spoke in parables, which are stories, because he wanted people to dig deeper. He wanted us to see things in a way other than this world tries to get us to see things. He even talks about a childlike faith, which I think is awesome. As a kid, we have wonder, we have dreams, we have aspirations, goals. The possibilities are limitless as a kid. And something happens as we grow up where our hearts and our minds and our eyes get hardened and we have all these judgments. And I'll, I'll be the first to say, your boy Rolo can be judgmental. Now that's partly because I believe I have the spiritual gift of discernment, but I can be judgmental. Um, I was this kid who grew up homeless, right? Crazy situations as a kid, crazy things happening and experiences that uh, could have made me a very judgmental, focused, narrow person, but God brought me to a place where I have a beautiful wife, I have kids, I have a house, I have a car, I have a ministry, I have a purpose, and uh, my, my thought process has forever been changed because I've seen what God can do in somebody's life. I've seen the possibilities and how limitless they are with God and miracles happening in your life. So I have a question for you guys. Um, what are you limiting in your life? Are you limiting some people? Are you limiting yourself? Are you limiting God because you have a hardened heart and hardened eyes? Uh, I want to pray for all of us today. I, I struggle with boxes. I struggle with systems. I struggle with patterns that are unquestioned because I know what God can do. And uh, I just want to encourage you guys with that today. Ha try to have soft eyes. Try to see things and people and situations the way God would see them, the way Jesus would see them. Try to have his heart and eyes towards this world and people. So until next time, friends, Peace out.